It's time for a switch up, right? Okay, well, I am going to make lunch now for everybody. So let's go to have a really healthy, easy, non-refrigerated, non-cooking lunch. Let's go. Here's a fun way to get your veggies. Get my tray out. Let me get my veggie netting. And so I got my, my light on here. I think, yes. <laughs> Let me put this down. Okay, I'm here, but I want you to see this. Okay, so. Tortillas. Get out three of my ranch dressing. Okay, let me talk about, let me turn this around. Let me talk about tortillas. Now, I know most of you know tortillas, right? But what I do, if I'm not in Tucson, I usually get Lala's. They're restaurant style. They're very, they're the most Mexican style authentic that I think you can get in a grocery store. Whoops, we got a train going by. Um, but when I'm in Tucson, or if you're in one of the southern states where it has a very high um, Hispanic um, population, you can get the authentic go to food city. If you're like in Yuma or Tucson or even um, Phoenix, or I imagine San Diego all along that uh, El Paso, uh, Las Cruces, you can find a food city and they have the authentic, they make it with lard. And lard is a good thing. They're really bringing this back out. Lard was almost currency back in the day because you, your body needs the fats and it sure does make wonderful tortillas. So I like Lala's. Let's get one out. Let's get one ready to go. Let's put it over here. Okay, let me get what I need out of here. This, this, <laughs> this, this, and this. Let's do that. Do this. Let's do this. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I got this. Let me really get this close. I'll see you in a minute, okay? First, I'm going to get out my lettuce. Keep it in a in a paper towel. I kind of want to cut it up.
<clears throat> Look at that. It's like a nice little package. Easy to eat. Let's try it. And it is, it's easy to eat these. Turn it around. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. I mean, you could put a can of chicken in here. You could put any kind of veggie. The real trick to rolling these up nice is not to overfill them. Don't overfill. That's one of the reasons I cut up the lettuce the way I did and cut up the veggies small so that you don't have these big things sticking out. And just, yeah, just don't overfill it. Roll it and eat it. Yes. Thanks for watching. I've been talking about my bin situation, my bins. And I would like to get a few more bins, you know, nice ones that go with what I already have. I've got these bins down here. I've got these three. I mean, this is an older bin, so I understand that. But some of you suggested, oh, they've got those yellow and black ones at Lowe's and, and Home Depot. Well, yeah, they do have some yellow and black ones, but they're not the same size. They're not the same dimensions, and the lids aren't the same. So I don't know what the deal is. I mean, a lot of people make... Uh, manufacture bins but they're just not equal so <laughs> you know it's almost as if you if you're going to get some bins let me just give you a clue get enough get more than what you think you might need so that they can stack well okay so what i did was tweaked some more bins <laughs> i've just been tweaking because the thing is i'm going to be traveling down um, south and I want to get everything out of my storage well there I'm gonna to have to put all this stuff in here to travel down one of them is really heavy with a lot of canned food so what I did was I tweaked them again so here's my thinking yeah <laughs> I'm always thinking right so what I did was I moved some stuff from my food bin, my overflow, into here. Because if you think about it, if there is, they keep seeing on social media something's going to be going down, something big. I don't know if it is or not, but I do want to think this through logically and smart, intelligently. So, I was thinking, why would I keep all of my food, my overflow food, and I showed you just the other day out, I don't keep that much food in my little, in my little drawer towards the back. So I thought, well, duh, why not switch everything around? So I switched around. So what I did with in here is I put some food. That way, when I pick, try to pick up that really heavy one and put it in my van, it won't be so darn heavy. I did buy another, um, I bought another bin. It's red and black. It's not the same dimensions. It's not that big and I sat it on top. <sighs> you know, I'll just have to keep that one in my storage. So I hope this makes sense. I'm trying to explain my bin situation. And you know, I'm going to just guess that a lot of you have bin situations. So if you're in a home, you maybe you have to think, what is she? Why does she keep doing all of this? Well, let me get this out of the way. Put it up here. Let's see what it got in here. Yeah. So I've got some extra food in here. So I decided I'll put my pans. I have a pan here. I just don't use these very often. But yeah, I've got food. So 
So I've got food in here. I've got some extra butane. Just in case. Yeah. There's not a lot in here. I got all my tuna. I wouldn't brought that. And I got all my chicken. This is just a just in case. I mean, it would be silly because if there was... Some people are saying, oh, they're, they're, somebody's going to do an EMP. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there's so much going on on social media. Everybody's talking about, oh, this might happen. Some, they're planning something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, whoever they are. We know there's a whole bunch of days. And I thought if there's an EMP, you know, they say if there's an EMP, 90% of everybody's going to die. Because we just, you can't do it without the grid. You can't survive unless you're really, 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 really prepared. Well, I'm not that prepared. So, but it would be silly to have all my food in a storage bin, in a storage unit, where I wouldn't be able to get at it. So, I'm going to be carrying some food in here. I took some of the... Un I went through everything and I decided what's necessary what can I carry and what can't I carry, right? Now, I'm still carrying things that, no, they're not essential to life, but I had the room to carry them. And, you know, it's like in one of the big bins, it's like my wigs. I don't wear them. I don't want to get rid of them, but I don't want to wear them all the time. I don't want to be, it's ridiculous to be carrying them around. And there's just other things that it's like, I don't really need them, but I don't want to get rid of them. You have to pick your battles. So I wanted to show you this. I, I do like this bin here. What I do is I carry things on top of it, especially when I'm traveling. I can grab it. I can grab my lip gloss. I got my gloves. I got out my workout gloves because I was what I was doing when I was working out. Um, I was banging my ring and then my, because I'm working out heavy on the upper body. So I got out my, my gold gym gloves and I just want to have these handy. Yeah. So I think I've already shown this before. I got a comb up here and what I do, let me put these up. I don't want to look at this. Do I want to look at this? Not really. So I just kind of cover it up. It makes it look nice inside my van. There we go. I try to make things look, ex um, I try to make things look nice. I like aesthetics. So I wanted to show you that. So now I don't have anything else except food and maybe cooking stuff just in case. Well, the sun is going down, so going to start getting dark but I wanted to get with you on this now some of you also said oh we missed your fairy lights we missed your fairy lights well I have fairy lights but I put them up along here um right on top of like the driver's seat instead of back here sometimes it did play havoc with my camera so, but I still have these. <laughs> There's still some ambient, gorgeous ambient light. Let's see. <sighs> and then, so I want to do a little bit more redecorating around. And I'll be thinking of that. I want to get another cover for this. Winter's coming. Something a little different. This looks very tropical, doesn't it? Let's see what else yeah definitely this I want to change up I was thinking also I'm gonna be looking for another flower too I mean this has been nice well thanks for spending time with me today I love you guys please subscribe and give me a thumbs up we got the book how to live in a minivan the minivan leeway we've got neck gaiters and we got some jewelry going on yeah on minivanlee.com. I am enjoying the space that I have in my minivan so much. I had no idea that I was crowded. I was crowded in here. 
So as soon as I get south, I'm going to get myself a, well, I got to do it right away because I'm going to have all those bins inside of my minivan and I'm going to have to get a storage right away, right away. So this is something that I put together. This is one of those cloth bins and in it, I have my wastebasket and my water and I can just park it right there. Looks nice. That way, if I need to use it, I can just pull the whole thing over. I've got this cloth bin here. Just a few things in there. I've got my my cup, my coffee cup ready to go in the morning if I want to make coffee. Or it's right there if I want to go and buy coffee right away. Okay, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. New things to show you. New topics to discuss. And the Minivan Lee Show. I mean, my show is mainly to teach you and to show you the possibilities and you know to tickle your brain because you're going to get ideas from what i'm talking about and you're going to go well i don't want to do it like that but i bet i could do it like that and that's what i mean by i'm going to tickle your brain to give you ideas see you later see you tomorrow